friends, it's Lisa back with a new layout for the Hip Kid Club. Um, this week the assignment was to uh, use only the main kit and since I haven't got my March kits, um, my February kits yet, uh, I am still using the January kit. So this is the January main kit. And um, the other part of the assignment was to make a monochromatic layout. Uh, plus one other color and I decided of course that my main color would be uh, pink and then I added some Well pink and then this very light pink which is almost not a pink anymore <laughs> but let's say it's pink and I added some mint and then I'm also adding black and white, but since black and white are not really colors, I thought that maybe <laughs> that was okay. So um, I'm using my all-time favorite Pink Fresh Studio um, pattern papers. I, I'm blown away by the colors of the pattern papers. The striped one and the other one we got in the kit with the with the, you, you see it there, the four, um, <laughs> the four, um, it's divided in four, uh, like color colors or parts with this, uh, big, I don't know, X in the middle. I'm sorry for, for this. Uh, my cat just, um, yeah, wanted to get in, of course, like always. Um, yeah, so the the, pa the pattern papers are amazing. I love the colors. I love the ones with the polka dots too, and they are really, really so beautiful. Then I I used some um, of the cardstock and I made some flowers. And I was going through my pictures to find the best picture to go with this layout. And then I made another flower and I tried to see how I would. Uh, arrange everything on my page and I fussy cut the pink flowers from one of the pattern papers from Pink Fresh Studio too. But then I was like, okay, no, that's not really um, what I was going for in this layout. I wanted something more whimsical, more cute, more cute and I, yeah. Also, uh, this will be <laughs> the last layout for the Hip Kid Club. I've been um, enjoying being in this team for two years and I have had the chance to be here for yeah four terms and yeah that's the, the last layout so I wanted to make something really Lisa like <laughs> to say goodbye and yeah so for all the people that has have left uh, comments uh, through those two years on YouTube or uh, on, on the Facebook side or yeah in the member group member forum Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, maybe you will see me again here, maybe not, I don't know. Um, for the moment I'm working on uh, in other design teams, so you will see more stuff on my channel. But yeah, this will be the last um, Hip Kid Club. So for the last Hip Kid Club, yeah, I wanted to make something more me. And of course, what is better than to make uh, my paper pieced animals? <laughs> Yeah, so I chose a picture from when I was in Provence, France last year and this picture has a lot of space where you don't really see something interesting so I thought it would be very good to put underneath the, um, the um, unicorn. And yeah, I'm making a unicorn here so I think it's very cute how it turns out. And I'm just outlining here and I made this horn or I don't know what you call that <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah I don't know a corn or a horn I don't know so yeah um, then I uh, punched out some stars for my unicorn which I think are very very cute and I will make a lot more stars, you will see uh, later. Then I have my cheeks and the rest of the face. I love those dreamy closed eyes <laughs> that always looks very fun. And yeah, 
just tracing with uh, um, not a crayon, uh, uh, pencil first, and then going over with my black pen, and then adhering all the things, and then I'm using uh, some very very thick, um, very thick foam squares, and the foam squares are yeah they are a bit too thick. Oh, I'm not using them right now, I thought. Okay, later. But they are very thick. They are a little bit too thick, but yeah, I wanted to use those. There I'm checking to see what kind of um, um, frame I want to have. And I'm using a paper, striped paper by Pink Paisley from the Lucky Us collection. And um, I really love the combination. I really love those pinks. I love those papers together. They are just perfect. Then going through some of the... Just a little bit of mixed media. I know it was really not in the assignment, but um, it's not really the main part of the, of the thing. So I wanted some splatters. And I lost the, the part of that footage, but I made a lot of, a lot, a lot of scrap... As, um, a lot of splatters sorry and um, yeah and then I took my picture and uh, some scraps of paper and I put a lot of scraps of paper behind my picture to map my picture and I love how it looks and the, there <laughs> were the, um, the very thick foam squares and then here are the regular ones so you can't really see it here but the um, the upper part of the um, unicorn is really stands out a lot more it's really high out it comes re out really high up from the page and then I'm using the flowers that I cut out which are very perfect for to put um, around the unicorn some of the enamel dots from um, pink paisley and pink fresh I didn't have enough uh, from the same color because I wanted to stick to pink and um, mint and I don't didn't really have those anymore but uh, yeah so I just used the ones that I had and uh, yeah so now I will go through my um, all the, the the options that I have for a title and since those um, word stickers were in the main kit I could use those and I absolutely wanted to use those because um, they also the, the, the font is so pretty and I love di to having different fonts and I really love love the font on this and since there was um, the color that I needed I, I thought I would really use those the word is hello was hello it was the only word in mint that there was left and I didn't really want to use the word hello but I like I said I absolutely wanted to use those so I made it work um, anyway and so here I am looking to find an idea for the rest of the title and I wanted to go with my um, <laughs> very loved technique where I just cut out some I've, I cut out some uh, letters, but in the end, when I was done, I wasn't really happy with it. I wanted something um, less patterned <laughs> and less um, just, yeah, there were too many colors. So I went with white and I went with another font. I um, wrote down happiness and then I fussy cut it out and just erasing the the pencil lines and adhering it to my paper my cat is still meowing in front of the door because she, when my my boyfriend opened the door for her to come in she didn't come in and now she's still in front of the door <laughs> And I don't really want to leave the door open when I'm um, doing voiceover, so... Oh, here she comes again. Come! 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 <laughs> 
So yeah, um, I punched out a lot of stars. Um, I have this very cool punch where you get like 15 stars uh, from different... Um, um, they have different si sizes, so it was very easy to have a lot of stars all uh, together and just having to punch three or four times. And then I th started to taking one by one and just placing them down, but I don't really like the look where it's placed um, so perfect. And so I took the stars in my hand and just let them fall on the layout, just arranging them a little bit better. But then you have really more a um, yeah random kind of uh, placement for the stars. And then I had to um, adhere them all. <laughs> That took some time. Then I uh, yeah adhered my um, title, and here I'm using my black pen because I wanted more black details, and I'm just doing this little thing where I make tiny, teeny, tiny dots, and uh, you <laughs> you won't be able to see them in a the final layout photo, but um, well. Yeah, and then some more black details with a frame, uh, scribbly lines. And um, what am I doing? Okay, just seeing if something works and yeah, I'm already done. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I hope we'll, I'll see you very soon again in some time, but thank you for everything. And yeah, see you around guys. Thanks. Bye.